Hello all, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Um, in this video, we're going to see uh, a function which takes in uh, an object as a parameter and array as a parameter and we also see a function inside an object and a function inside a function. So let's, let's have a look at different types of functions now here. Uh, so first of all uh, here, I'll take a function with an object as parameter okay so i want to pass an object itself as a parameter to another function so let's define a function so let's print object is equal to a function so which takes in an object as a parameter and uh, what it does is it just simply prints the object so console.log of the object so no no much uh, logic I'm writing I'm just printing an object in a console.log so this is a very uh, basic function but only thing we have to understand is uh, the function parameter is an object so how to call it so let's say print object and just pass an object here I'll say name Rajan and age is gonna be the 20 see I'm passing an object as a parameter to another function so let's see here yes you got our own object has printed over here so here we have made uh, an anonymous object here or else you can declare a function outside and you can pass it so another way of calling the same function is you can define a mobile function mobile object okay mobile object here I will take the brand apple and uh, color sorry uh, color is gonna be the silver and uh, price 35,000 so I have an object so I have to print it so how to print it is let's call a print object function let's pass in the mobile as a parameter so you get the answer as the complete objects so either you define a function in the parameter itself or you can declare a function outside and then you can pass it but ultimately you're passing an object to a function so this is a function with an object as parameter so let's see another one uh, where you can pass an array as a parameter to another function so another type is function with an array as a parameter okay see here um, I write a function let's some different name so print uh, array is equal to a function so which takes in the array fine uh, so what logic you write is uh, I don't want to print just like uh, an object I want to convert this like an index and the value so I write uh, let um, result is equal to empty string I have to loop it so I use for in loop so um, let index in array so what I'm doing is so result plus is equal to backtick uh, I want to get the index and value so uh, index index is gonna be the index uh, as it is because we are getting every time index and then uh, arrow value so the value is going to be the so this index you have to pass to the array to get the value so uh, I say array of index I get the value and this I'll make slash n for the next line and finally I write a console dot log of result okay looks good uh, fine so this is a normal function so which takes in an array and it does some process and gives the results okay so let's call a function so I say print array uh, is expect an, an array so I'll pass uh, 10 20 30 and 40 so I'm just passing uh, an array as it is here so you get the answer as like this so 0 1 2 3 and its values okay so this is my output of a function uh, another way how you can do is you can create an array outside and you can pass it so what I do is 
let's uh, create an array let's take colors is equal to one array so which takes in some um, black and orange and white or uh, purple okay so four values so let's pass in this colors to the function so print array of colors because colors is an array so what happens you get all the colors in this format okay so this is a function which takes in an array as a parameter so another one i want to dis, uh, define is a function inside an object you can even define a function inside an object let's see that so function inside an object so you can define an object let uh, student uh, is an object so the student is having uh, various other properties like uh, first name uh, Arjun and uh, the last name is gonna be the ready and then um, I will write a full name okay so full name is not a string or not a number it is gonna be a function so let's make a function so this function returns a, a string called Arjun ready okay fine now tell me um, if I say a console dot log of students what do you get you get the whole student as an object okay I want to access Arjun what do you do student dot first name you get the answer as Arjun uh, if you want to access ready I'll say student dot last name I got the answer ready but I want to execute this data okay I say student dot full name can you guess what is answer will you get Arjun ready as an output no see here you got a function you're not getting just Arjun ready string you got the whole function see it's a function um, so why because see if I say student dot first name you got Arjun because its value is Arjun uh, now here its value is ready you got ready but here its value is not Arjun ready its value is a function okay so that's why the whole function you got it no I don't want a function I want to just execute a function so always remember if any properties value is a function you must have to call in this way you have to write uh, appearances okay you get no parameters don't pass any parameters so what happens you go dancer Arjun ready so this is how you call a function inside an object uh, one more thing is here you have to understand one uh, special keyword called this keyword what is this keyword is if you want to access any properties inside an object uh, this keyword will use so this keyword represents the current object so what I'm saying is uh, if you want to access this Arjun and ready here you can use this keyword so I can write this dot first name because why to write again and again you can just access the first name of a same object over here using this this represents the current object and then space dollar this dot last name so you check you get the same answer if you refresh you get the same answer because I'm running on a live server uh, no to refresh but I'm just showing uh, I got Arjun ready okay so this keyword can access the internal properties of an object uh, fine so another one let's take uh, nested function okay so what is nested function is a function inside a function is called as a nested function so let's see what is that um, I say let's outer function is equal to or uh, just say uh, outer fn is equal to a function so I uh, just uh, write a console log console dot log of I am an outer function okay and then uh, I write slash inner fn is equal to another function so which does a console dot log of I am an inner function okay 
so let me um, call it so I say out of function um, out of function I'm gonna call so I have a function inside another function you can write it this is called as an asset function uh, so when you call the outer function can you give the output uh, output is do you think outer and inner no you get the answer as only outer function but not inner function because see whenever you're calling a function it executes the function right so you got a console lock but what about this one this is actually a function declaration but you're not execute this inner function so let's write inner fn okay so you have called it what happens this executes and then your call it and this also executes you get the answer as i am from motor function and i am from inner function so you can execute in this way uh, one more thing you have to understand in this concept is sir what if i'll cut this i'll keep it in the starting can you guess the output now you are calling an out of function right then internally calling it executes line by line right so inner function so i am an inner function and then i am out of function is it no you will get the error see the error cannot access inner function before initialization what is the concept behind the function is first you have to declare a function and then you must have to call a function so calling a function should be always after declaration but not before declaration of a function that's called initialization of a function also so you must not declare a function uh, after function call okay so function call should be always after declaration okay because by the time you are calling a function it does not even defined so you get the error so okay so now you get the answer properly okay so never call a function before declaration fine so this is actually a nested function and um, so let's take another function so that is uh, some twisted function twisted functions what is this twisted function is so which contains everything which contains object which contains array which contains a function everything okay so let's let's see uh, this one uh, I say let's um, what function twisted function twisted fn is equal to a function uh, nothing much uh, just write uh, let uh, name is equal to a John and then uh, I write another function let uh, print uh, student is equal to um, a function so here let student is equal to an object so inside I'll take a name again uh, Rajan and the age 20 and then quotes and print CSC okay it's a branch and uh, I return students and then uh, outside I return print students and then uh, yeah done yeah see here I have made a function which having internally another function so that's having internally object returns an object returns a function name and I'll call a twisted uh, wait uh, tell me okay just think about the logic I want to access the Rajan okay I want to access this Rajan outside of my function so tell me how to print the Rajan okay so just think about logic and please pause the video and uh, think about and uh, see the result now okay uh, you wanna get the Rajan actually Rajan is inside a an object object inside a function because you have to call this function you want to call that function you have to call the parent function so if I say twisted fn if I call the parent function what happens this function returns in a function right print student is in a function right so if it is giving a result you have to catch it so I say return in a fn is equal to this one so this written type is stored with here so what is written type print students means this particular function as stored with 
this variable so this function if i execute you get the written statement as the students i say uh, let student uh, um, object you are getting student object is equal to in a function i'm gonna call so what happens is you get the student object if you execute this particular function you get the student as a result in that student object you have student dot name it means the student object if you want to see that console.log of student uh, object so let's see here you get student object but i want to get the rajan so you can just say dot name you get just rajan okay so this contains an object in a function and written statements uh, everything right so this is one example of a twisted function okay so we reach exactly 100 lines of uh, functions fine so we discuss almost all types of functions now in the next video we're gonna see uh, how to prepare a chicken curry with functions yes you heard right it looks funny but uh, uh, it, it contains all the concepts of uh, functions so let's see in the next video how to prepare chicken curry okay so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you